Are you going to have a white collar boxing match or fight for the first time? And you might be thinking, have you made the right choice? Have you not made the right choice? Well, after watching this video, it's going to give you a great understanding of everything you need to know about having a fight or about making the decision to have a white collar boxing match. And I've got a lot of experience with this. Before I went to the Olympic Games in 2008, I was training guys who had zero experience all the way through to having a white collar boxing match. So I know exactly what goes in into the training camp, into the mindset and everything else that goes into one of these fights that will be pretty scary for you. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you two things. And if one of these two things apply to you, you should definitely not have a fight. So on this video, I'm gonna go over the dangers, the benefits, the mindset, the lifestyle, the training, before I get onto these two things at the end that you shouldn't be fighting if you've one of these apply to you. And please share this video with someone that you know who you think needs it. Okay, let's get into it, the dangers. This is a serious thing. It is dangerous, yes it is dangerous. I've seen people, grown men, get knocked out of another grown man who thought he can never knock me out. It happens, and obviously it's all down to your preparation when I'm gonna go into it in a second. But yeah, it's dangerous. You could get seriously hurt. You could get a broken nose, a cut on the eye. You could get knocked out. And it's happened pretty recently in America where one guy called Nathan Valencia got killed during a charity boxing fight. Now, I'm not saying this is gonna to happen to you, but there's always a chance. Anyone will get killed in the ring. We've seen professional fighters get killed before, and you know, white collar, if you're not prepared, well enough, you've got a, obviously a higher chance because you're not used to getting hit. Yeah, I know death is the extreme right here and I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I just want to point it out that it's happened before and it can happen again. And also a big thing is embarrassment. You could get embarrassed in front of everyone, in front of all your mates and all your friends and family if you get knocked out, if you get beat up. So you need to make sure you prepare right. Again, I'm gonna talk about the training in a second. So that's a big thing. But yeah, it is dangerous. It's not a game. It's not like a game of soccer, a game of football. It's not like a game of basketball. You can't just go in there not prepared and not take it seriously or you can't get seriously hurt. Now moving on to the benefits. That was the cons. Now let's talk about the pros. Getting your hand raised after a fight is the best feeling in the world. Ask any fighter, ask anyone who's done it before. It is unbelievable. I trained a guy called Antonio Esfandieri who fought Kevin Hart in, a, you can call it a white collar boxing match in our gym boxing burn a couple of years ago. And he's a poker player who won 18.5 million dollars on a poker match. And he told me that getting his hand raised was up there with winning 18 million dollars. So, you know, that's how good this feels. Also, you've got them bragging rights as well. You might be fighting one of your friends, someone who you've knew for a long time, or someone at work who you don't like. If you beat them, you've always, always, forever got one over them. So think about that as well. And then I guess a big thing is you're gonna raise a lot of money for charity because most white collar boxing fights are for charity. The ones that I was involved with was for charity and people are raising a fortune for a great cause. So that is a huge benefit there. And as well as raising that money, you're gonna get healthy if you're doing it properly. You're gonna get fit. You're gonna lose weight. You're gonna probably get in the best shape of your life or at least I hope you do. If you're taking this serious, you should. And being in the best shape of your life, you know, it's a great feeling as well. So imagine being in the best shape of your life, raising a fortune for charity, getting your arm raised in a fight and having bragging rights. You're gonna be on cloud nine uh, if you prepare right and you do all this and you win the fight as well. So yeah, benefits is huge. Now changing angle a little bit and talking about your mindset with this. You will be nervous. You might be thinking, oh, I don't know if I wanna do this. Why am I doing this? This is crazy. These are natural feelings to feel, especially as the fight gets closer. You know, everyone gets nervous in boxing. Everyone who's going to get in the ring with another man who's going to try and knock him out is getting nervous. You know, you would be a little bit crazy if you weren't getting nervous. So the nerves are natural. And even though I did see, you know, you might be thinking, oh, I don't really want to do this. If you don't really want to do this, then don't do it. You will get nervous, you will get scared, that's natural. But if you really don't wanna do it, someone might be forcing you into it, someone might be 
P, you're pressuring you, or you're not fighting this guy, you're not fighting, you know, and then it's just like, you know, you're gonna have to like, no, I, I can't do it. Even if you make an excuse where, oh, you know what, I've got a bad elbow, uh, you know, if you need to do that to save your pride, I'm all for that, do it. If you really don't wanna fight, don't fight, but pull out sooner rather than later, because if you pull out later, and then they might find a last minute replacement who comes in and they might get hurt, so yeah, if you're gonna pull out, pull out sooner rather than later. And then the last thing on mindset, which is a big one, is visualization. You wanna be using your mind and visualizing the fight, visualizing your training camps, doing everything on visualization. And that's a huge thing to know. The right, using the right techniques to do visualization is an absolute game changer. That's what helped me have success in boxing. It's helped so many other people have success in boxing as well. So knowing how to do the right visualization, it, yeah, it's, it's a game changer in boxing. Now moving on to a big one, is your lifestyle. How is your lifestyle right now? Because it's got to change. If you've got like six weeks to this fight, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, you've got to change your lifestyle. You've got to live the life of an athlete what you might not be used to doing you, you probably not you've probably not done it before but you've got to change everything about your lifestyle early nights a great diet making sure you're putting that work in the gym working hard putting your body through the punishment and I don't mean punishment as in sparring hard all the time and getting your head punched in because that's the opposite of what you want to be doing but you need to be putting your, your body through it and changing everything about your lifestyle sacrificing nights out with your wife or your girlfriend in events with your mates you've got to be making sure you get to bed at the right time and there's a lot of sacrifice that you've got to make to be doing this but like I said about the benefits it is definitely worth it if you're going to do it if you think this is for you sacrifice that you put in the 10 weeks of training eight weeks of training is worth getting your hand raised at the end now moving on to training this is very very important because you can't cut corners you need to train when you don't feel like training you're not going to feel like it let's see you go in the first time you have a session your body will be all stiff and you're like oh i cannot move for a few days you know and then you're like oh i don't want to train it today. you've got to train got to get through it there's methods and ways of training through the aches and pains i've done a full video on how to recover from boxing you should definitely check out that video and use their methods because you know recovery is key if you can't recover properly from a training session your next training session you're never going to be able to give maximum effort and just keep getting better and better and better so recovery is key so make sure you learn all about that and watch that video after this one and and see about what you can be doing you know to get over them that stiffness now what sort of training should you be doing you should have a trainer now this is important as well having the right trainer and if you've got no experience or little experience what is the right trainer uh, i'm just going to give you some examples of a wrong trainer a wrong trainer who's going to is going to throw you in the ring and let you get punched in the head over and over again and get hurt if you went with a trainer and that's him lose him get rid of him that's not a a right trainer for you you want to have a trainer who can take care of you who can teach you defense as well as offense i see a lot of these white collar guys where they'll be here and they'll just be throwing lots of punches and the trainer's like go on yeah go on go on no 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 get rid of that guy your trainer needs to care about your health your well-being obviously yeah he wants you to win because it's bragging rights for him if you win but there's methods of doing that and if you can get a trainer who's got experience in the fight game yeah that's that's what you want you want a trainer who's got in ring experience now there is trainers out there who are fitness trainers who are very very good and if you're doing a fitness session a pad session yeah they're good but you need to learn about the mindset as well that's getting into the ring you need to understand the fundamentals and on my youtube channel i give you so much free stuff to learn all about that you should definitely watch my other videos you should be watching fights and that's kind of part of your lifestyle as well when i said you're living your life you're living the life you're watching fights you're studying you see what people's doing right what people's doing wrong and if you've got a good trainer he will be able to look at you and, and see and give you things to work on you know every time you go to the gym yeah yeah there's so much of the training side of things that i can't go into right now like the different techniques the mindset the visualization in detail how to sleep before a fight how to recover what 
gloves to wear, what shoes to wear, everything like that. I've built a Be A Better Boxer video package. You can click the link below and see that video package, get the details about this is everything I've got up here. I've put it in the videos for you to understand. And if you use code white collar, you'll get $100 off this video package. Now, I'm not doing this to try and make loads of money. I'm trying to do this to help you. I want you to be safe. My passion is helping people through boxing. If you've got any value from this video at all, this video package below will help you with everything you need to know, getting better at boxing. So if you have decided, you know, you want to do this and you're going to do the white collar boxing match, yeah, click that link below and check out me Be A Better Boxer video package. Use code white collar and you get $100 off. So what are these two things when I think you shouldn't fight? Well, the first thing is notice. How far away is your fight? If it's four weeks away or less and you've got no boxing experience, you should definitely not fight. Four weeks is not enough to be able to train your body into a boxing fight. Even if it is only three one and a half minute rounds. Let me tell you, three one and a half minute rounds is a hard, hard time, especially when someone's trying to knock you out. Yeah, four weeks is not enough. It's not going to give your muscles time to build that muscle memory. It's not going to give your brain time to train where you can see pinch punches coming without having to think about it because you want to get in the position and want to get trained well enough to be able to you know defend punches and come back punches without even thinking about it four weeks will not give you the time to do that doesn't matter if you train every single day which you shouldn't be doing you haven't got enough time and unfortunately i would advise you to pull out if you've signed up and you've only got four weeks to do this ideally you want at least eight weeks training 12 weeks is even better 14 weeks is even better but four weeks, nah, I would advise not do it and tell the person who's organizing it, you know, I'll be on the next boxing show and, and fight then. And the second thing is if you're not taking this serious, if you're thinking, oh, it'll be funny, I'm gonna do it with my friends, my wife and my friends at work are telling us I should do this and yeah, it'll be a laugh, we'll have a fight and I'll do a few weeks training, I can't put the time in, you know, but it'll, it'll be all right, it'll be all right, you know, I'll not get hurt, nah. Nah, mate, you need to take it serious. If you think it's a joke and you think it's a game, I'm sorry, mate, I love you for watching this much of the video, but no, it is not for you. Click here next and find out the seven best ways to recover from boxing trainer. Click here and watch this full video next.